Hi there, I'm Dana Alexander with Prestige Dog Grooming School in the Everyday Peckermer. Today I'm going to show you how we get this matted caisson all blown out and beautifully done within an hour. So she's been double bathed and now I've put in our Tarot Mat X and let it sit for about five minutes. You can see how severely matted this dog is. It's intense. And now I'm coming in with my Metro Master Blaster dryer and I'm going slowly and I'm letting this dryer do the work for me. So you can, I'm just showing you generally how matted this dog is to start out with. And I'm going to take my time with this drying because this is going to save my body. It's going to save this dog any type of discomfort with brushing all this out. You can literally see the undercoat working its way to the tips of the hair. You can already see that my dryer can go through this easier. So this is after about 15 minutes of drying and you can see the difference we have here. It's huge, just massive, massive difference. And there's only a small amount of the random odd tangle there. The coat is beautiful and now I'm able to start laying the coat down the way I like it. So you can see with this type of dog, Kisans especially, they have such dense undercoat. See, we have this giant poofy overhang on the top of her butt that doesn't match in with the rest of her. I like to come in with my thinning shears and just give a couple snips underneath and then brush out. I much prefer this than trying to scissor over top and just end up cutting off all that dark guard hair. This ends up looking a lot nicer. Anything that's a little bulky, I just come in and then comb out. Do you see how that's already blending so much better? This is a much better option than to just keep scissoring and scissoring and scissoring and trying to get this down. Eventually, you're going to end up with one inch of hair, which just looks bad, cuts into the guard hair and ruins eventually ruins the coat. So here, I'm just anywhere that's bulky, I prefer to just come in, get a bit of bulk out before I do any type of shaping or scissoring. Do you see how that's already tamed all of that? And this is how when she goes walking out the door, it's going to stay in position. Now I'm going to use my wall with a dark purple guard comb 40 underneath. And I'm just going to lightly skim any dead ends type of hair. I'm not taking a ton of bulk off. We want a very natural look. I am just literally skimming anything that's kind of looking a little unruly and damaged, that sort of thing. I like to leave my dogs cleaned up, but very natural looking. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I will lightly dust with shears. Just very, very lightly, I'm coming in with my curve shears. You could use chunkers or thinners if you wanted to as well. For me, I'm just so lightly dusting this that I'm perfectly fine to do it this way. But see how that tames that in without just going in and scissoring all that. I am Dana Alexander with Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. Join us on Facebook in the Everyday Pet Groomer group. And thanks for watching.